Today I'm doing an overview of a new app called Simple Scorekeeper, which is a scorekeeping app for baseball and softball games. I had the opportunity to test it out this spring uh, by using it to keep score for my daughter's softball games. Most of the fields they played at did not have scoreboards, so me and the other parents were often wondering, what's the score? I'm trying to keep track of that. So um, it was a lot of fun using this app to keep score uh, by the end of the season. A lot of the other parents like knew to ask me what the score was because they knew I was using this app. So, um, so anyway, today I'm going to go through the app and uh, just show it to you here. The first place you'll probably start is just to score a game. So you hit game, and we have some options here. We can either choose a season. Um, if it's your first time using it, you have to create a new season. Or you can do what's called a non-stats game. Let's do that first. Just to show you how that works. And it gives you a warning, though, that if you do a non-stats game, then everything that you do in that scorekeeping session will not be saved in the stats. So maybe just use this for, like, scrimmage games or just to practice using it or something. Um, so let's, let's go ahead, though, and create a non-stats game because it shows you the most basic functions of the app. So here we have the visitors in the home team, and we can click on the visitors and change the name to whatever name we want. You can select the color for that team, and they're playing, let's say they're playing some other team here. Let's say the Blue Jays, just so we can pick a blue color. <clears throat> and this is the basic scoreboard here. So. In this most basic version of the app, as things happen in the game, if an out is scored, you can hit out. Um, if a run is scored, you hit run. And let's say you thought there was a second out, but really there wasn't a second out. You can hit the circle to make it go away. Um, so there's a second run scored, two more outs, and then it will automatically flip to the bottom of the first inning. Um, let's say you also made a mistake that the uh, there were actually three runs scored in the first inning, not just two. So if you hit the two, we can change the run. We can change that inning, add a run, change it to three. Um, so you're scoring outs and runs. This is the most basic version of the of the uh, the app, obviously. <clears throat> and um, remember, you can delete those. So it doesn't do anything more than that. It does keep track of the, the length of time of the game. And like I said, um, let's say this is going to be a really short game. Let's say Blue Jays take the lead in the bottom of the last inning. And so then the game is over. Hit the menu button to go back here. And the game is done. So we need to hit end game to actually end the game. And permanently end the game. So once you've permanently ended the game, you cannot go back and keep the game going. So be careful about this. Um, we could do not in the game. It'll take you back to it. But let's say the game really is over. <clears throat> so we'll hit end game. Actually end the game. And that's that. So that's a basic uh, non-stats kind of game. But like I said, it didn't track anything. So if you hit stats here, um, it won't have any record of that game that we just scored. So what's best is to, when you create a game, go through a few steps here just at first takes a minute but it's not bad so let's make a new season and we'll call this let's see it's May of 2021 and we're going to call this season um, we can name it whatever we want to name it or rec league or anything like that <clears throat> So there's our season. We've uh, we're gonna. I've got other seasons in other seasons in here that I've been playing around with. Um, but let's select that one. So we're gonna select that season, and now we need to create a team. So let's create a team. They're gonna be blue. That's the visiting team. The home team. Let's call them the Reds. We select their color. And select the team for the Reds for the home team. And we have a new game here. So it looks very similar to what we had before. And it actually behaves very much like it did before. But we have some, some new options here that we didn't have before. So let's talk about those. Um, <clears throat> we have this option where we can select a pitcher, which is great if 
you want to keep track of your own kids pitching stats um, I would also use this um, let's say uh, let's say my kids on the Reds team so let's create um, let's create a player for my uh, my kid and <clears throat> and she's on the Reds team okay let's go back to the scoreboard um, let's say though I want to keep track of the uh, how well everyone on the Reds does the best way to do that would be to actually create a pitcher for the Blue Jays and keep that and that and by keeping the pitcher stats on the Blue Jays we'll get a good insight into how all the all the kids on the Reds team did so um, we'll need to create a player for the Blue Jays pitcher so let's go back to here you do um, uh, my player I'm going to create a new player and I'll just call this Blue Jays P for pitcher and they're on the Blue Jays team and then <clears throat> now I can pick the Blue Jays pitcher from the pitcher. So now I have a pitcher specified. So now everything that happens now is going to be tied to that pitcher. So if we score an out or a run, it's going to be tied to that pitcher. So we have to be, uh, to keep those stats accurate, we have to be kind of careful here. Um, let's say the Blue Jays pitcher uh, gets a wa uh, walks a batter. So we'll just add one to the walks. Uh, let's say they allow a single. We do that to add one there. Um, when you score an out, if there's a pitcher selected, well, you guys tell what kind of out it is. We keep track of the stats for that pitcher. So you can mark it as a strikeout, or the batter was put out, like they grounded out or flew out, or there was a fielder's choice attempt. Would also count as, um, well, a, a fielder's choice would also count here. Um, let's say that happened. Um, let's say they got another out, was a strikeout, and then somebody came and hit a double. Uh, let's say, in fact, uh, my, my daughter hit a double. So how do we keep, how do we score that? Uh, you click my players, and I'm going to select daughter as the player. Hit select player, and it takes you to this new screen, which is the stats entry screen. It knows she's on offense based on the bottom being the bottom of the inning, and she scored a double. 2B is a double. Let's say you don't know what 2B is. You can click this. It will give you a description of what it is. Um, so any of these stats, if you're not sure what it is, just click on it. It'll tell you what it is. Uh, SB, stolen base. So she got a double. So to score a double here, I'm going to click here and swipe up. And it will add one to the doubles. So she just had her double. Uh, the top number is how many doubles she had this game. The bottom number is how many doubles she's had for the whole season. And since this is a new season, you can see there's no really season stats yet. So let's say she hit a double. In the process of hitting that double, she hit in the player that was got the hit and got the walk. So she hit in two runs. So let's give her two RBIs. So I swipe up twice on the RBIs. If I hit cancel changes, what I just did there will be will not be recorded. But if I hit save changes, it will save those stats for my daughter's playing stats at that point. Um, maybe also want to keep track that the the Blue Jays pitcher allowed that double. Um, I can record singles allowed by the pitcher here, but for doubles or triples or home runs, I need to actually go in, select the Blue Jays pitcher. It knows she's a pitcher right now, and she had a double allowed. So I'm going to mark that. Save changes there. Um, let's go back to that for a second. For the pitcher, it's kind of interesting. You see we've got some red bubbles here. Um, the reason they're marked in red is because these stats are best recorded on the scoreboard. Uh, not recorded here, but you can use these to make corrections. So let's say we scored an out as a strikeout. Um, I could click here, and um, it tells me I'm better. To, I'm better to make a. <clears throat> I could change it here, but let's say let's say there really never was a strikeout. I messed up there. So if I go back to the scoreboard, I'm going to get rid of one of these outs, which was a strikeout. I don't know which one was which though. Doesn't matter. Click either one, and um, it'll like take the out away. Um, let's say this, um, this pitcher got a strikeout. There we see the strikeout. <clears throat> and then, uh, we forgot to score the two runs that, um, notice when we have a pitcher selected, uh, the double hit in two runs, I need to score those runs. It was an earned run for the Blue Jays pitcher. So I would click that and it will score it. The second run was also an earned run. If a run is scored based on an error, you would click this guy right here. Or if it was a different pitcher, 
that put the player on base previously, you would give that earn run to the other pitcher, which you could do right here. But for now, we'll get those as two earned runs for the Blue Jays pitcher. We'll have one more out. We'll have, say the base runner, maybe a, well, let's see, let's do this. Let's say uh, there was another walk, and then that person from first tried to steal second base but got thrown out. So that would be a base runner put out option there. So there's our three outs there. Okay, so at this point, um, let's say my daughter is going to be pitching. So I'll assign her as the pitcher for the Reds as the Blue Jays are up to bat. And she walks a runner. She uh, walks a batter. She allows a couple singles. She gets an out. That's a strikeout. And then there's a batter put out. Let's say my daughter, um, <clears throat> let's say for that put out we just uh, recorded right there. Let's say my daughter uh, was pitching. So let's say she got caught a ground ball, threw it to first base to get the out. How do we record that? We'll go to my players, select daughter again. And then what do we do here? Um, oh, she got a, um, so she didn't get a put out. She got an assist because she threw it to the first baseman who got the put out. So to give her an assist, we just swipe up to give her that assist and hit save. You'll notice the, um, the strikeout that we recorded on the scoreboard is shown right here, is indicated right there. So let's save the change in the attempt. Let's see the Blue Jays uh, score run. It was an earned run. And then the, some batter was put out for whatever reason. And it goes on to the next screen. So all right. So let's say we want to um, let's say a different pitcher goes in uh, to pitch for my daughter, but we don't really want to keep track of that person's stats. We could pick unspecified as the pitcher. And when unspecified is selected, then it's much quicker to do the the runs here. Um, unspecified, yep. <clears throat> So I just want to show you something else here. We're going to kind of go through the innings quickly here so I can show you what happens when we get further along in the game to the scoreboard there. You see it only shows really four innings at a time. So if we go through a few more here, when it gets to the fifth inning, it slides everything over, which is nice. Uh, if we want to see previous innings we can't see, though, we can drag back to previous innings. So you can always slide back and forth up there. All right. So that's the basic scoreboard. Um, let's see. Let's put. Let's put. Uh, let's say a run was scored against some other pitcher, and then let's. <clears throat> so put my daughter back in as the pitcher. She got a walk, got a strikeout. If we go back to the stat screen, not only can you see what's kind of going on in the game, the top numbers bottom number season number but you can see down here at the bottom we've got pitching stats for the season in real time are being affected by what happens so at this point her on base percentage is 0.3 her walk hits per inning pitch is 2.25 and her earn run average is 5.25 now the earn run average is calculated based on the number of innings in a full game so for softball it's seven innings and for baseball it's nine innings so that's why we've got the option here to change it from a baseball to a softball game. So notice the ERA will change if I select baseball uh, because of nine innings. But this is a softball game, so I'm going to leave it as softball um, and go back to the scoreboard. So those are the basics of how to do um, the scoreboard here. Um, let's say we want to change um, maybe this, maybe an earned run happened but really it was um, scored on an error back here in number three so let's say i want to remove a run uh, actually let's do this my daughter is up she has a run here that's a an earned run for her an error okay but something went wrong and it really wasn't three runs so if i want to get rid of one of those uh, three runs there i click on it i'll say remove a run and will actually ask me um, which pitcher um, was assigned to that run that was removed. So I can actually pitch which one, pick which one. So let's say I want to remove the one for my daughter. And it was the unearned run of the two that were there, because one was an error and one was not. 
So I can actually pick pick which run specifically to remove um, from that scoreboard to for the purpose of keeping track of the stats correctly. So that's a, a, a pretty cool feature. Um, and I like just the way the app kind of walks you through the, the processes. It's it's kind of smart about stats, and you can just answer the questions and put things in, and it'll, it'll keep track of all that for you. So next we'll go back and, um, all right, so let's say, let's reach the, end, near, reach the end of the game here. Batter put out, back to the, um, the Reds, and I'm afraid they're not going to win this game. Let's just say it got dark. They ran out of time, couldn't play all seven innings. So we hit the menu button, and it will ask us, do we want to continue this game or end the game? So the game's over. I had to end game, and then I've got to answer the question here. Do I want to keep the game or discard the results? So I definitely want to hit save results if I want the stats to be uh, kept. So that just saved all my stats. So we'll look at stats here next. So we'll click on the stats button. And we have two different kind of stats we can watch here. We can look at uh, player stats or team stats. So first we'll take a look at player stats. And again, since we're doing softball, we want that ERA to be calculated correctly. So we want to, we'll want to keep that as set to softball. Player stats, there's a lot of different ways you can um, slice and dice the stats in this app. Um, first of all, instead of saying show all seasons, let's just pick the season we just created. Season totals, that sounds fine. Um, what what is that exactly though? Um, let's say you have a player that plays on the Reds, but then they substitute and play for the Blue Jays one game. So if we say season totals, it'll take their stats from playing on both teams and combine them together. Um, if we say show all, it'll actually list the team separately. But in this case, that won't make a difference in what we see. Uh, for players, let's say show all players, or we could pick a single player to show. Let's say we just want to see my daughter. We want to see how she did at bat. I don't think we recorded many stats for her for that. But what we get then is a baseball card view of her stats. And all I recorded here was that she had one at bat and she got that double. Two RBIs. Um, so the baseball card view there for offense. She was also a pitcher. So I changed to pitcher. I'll see her pitching stats there. She had two innings pitched. Allowed two hits, two earned runs, two walks, three strikeouts. <clears throat> I could pick all players, and I should see the Blue Jays pitcher also at that point. And there's the Blue Jays pitcher and what they did. So by looking at the Blue Jays pitcher, I can see kind of how many hits, walks, strikeouts that uh, the entire Reds team had against that pitcher. So that could be, that could be useful. I can also select fielding. Um, let's say I want to say just all positions. So I don't have a whole lot there, but I did have that my daughter had that assist, which we see right there. And because she had no errors and she had an assist, then she has a fielding percentage of a thousand percent. Perfect fielding for that. Um, something I should point out here that I didn't have, um, I didn't point out earlier was GP, BP, GPP, what's all that? Well, we'll talk about that in a second, but one thing that's helpful for the baseball card view, if you're not sure what something is, you can tap it, and it'll show you what the definition of the stat is. A is an assist. Um, e is an error. So if you're not familiar with all those terms, you can look them up that way. <clears throat> we'll go back and talk about this good play, bad play, this, these GP, BP, what those are, because that's kind of unique to this app. Um, so we'll go out of the stats here. We'll go back to a game. We'll create a new game in the same season. Let's say it's a rematch between the Blue Jays and the Reds. Maybe a double header, right? So <clears throat> let's say um, nothing happens here. The Blue Jays are up to bat. My daughter's out in the field, and she's playing. Let's see, what, play, what position is she playing? She's playing... She's not pitching right now. Let's say she's playing first base. Um, let's do this. Let's say she's playing center field. Okay. And 
a ball is hit to her. Um, it's a grounder. Um, she stops it. Um, she throws it to second base, a good throw to second base, holds the, the batter to a single. So um, she didn't get an out, so it's not a put out. She didn't get an assist. Um, she didn't commit an error, but she, hit, she did a good play. She did what she was supposed to do. She stopped the ball, threw it to the right player, uh, threw it to the right place, prevented a double. So I'm proud of her, being her father, that she did the right thing. So to keep track of that in this app, I can do that. I can give her a GP, which is a good play, which is not a real baseball stat or softball stat, but um, it's interesting. So it's a good play. So she had a good play. I can give her that. And notice at the bottom here we see uh, fielding percentages is just looking at assists, putouts versus errors. But the good play percentage counts all that. So let's say she got a putout. Well, that also counts as a... Um, in the, in the good play percentage. The good play percentage is how many good plays she had, good plays, assists, or putouts, compared to how many attempts she had overall, which includes BP, bad plays, and errors. So what's the difference between a bad play and an error? An error is the fielder did something wrong, but it and it cost them. In other words, the other team was able to advance a runner. That's a true error. Um, let's say... Uh, in the particular play, my daughter, she did, uh, maybe she missed the ball, went through her legs. Um, or she had a terrible throw uh, to some base or something. Um, or she didn't throw it to the right base. But maybe it didn't hurt their team because the, no runners on the other team uh, advanced. So it's not truly an error. In that case, I would give her a bad play. Um, and you can see that they changed the percentages there. So that's what GP, BP stand for. So if we... Um, I want to get rid of this fake game right here. So I'm going to end game. I don't want to keep the results, so I'll say discard the results. And then it says, are you sure? You're going to trash all these results, all the stats? Yes, I don't want to keep those. So we'll go back. We'll look back here at our um, go to positions. And here you can see, OK, that's for all season, sorry. <laughs> Let's go back to pick just the season that we just created. and. <clears throat> So now you'll see, well, I didn't say those games, did I? But that's what we would see right here. Um, it would keep track of the good plays, the bad plays, and the GPP, good play percentage. So that's kind of a nice way to keep track of your uh, your kids' fielding uh, progress, even if it's not really assists or putouts or true errors. So that was kind of a neat feature, I thought. Um, and for looking at fielding, you can look at all positions bundled up together, or you can look at how did your kid do at the field when they were the when they were the pitcher? How did they do when they were um, uh, playing first base or outfield? And you can compare their fielding in different positions if you want to. Uh, so you can also say uh, show all here, and I'm going to pick uh, my daughter and maybe her batting stats, offensive stats. And if you do this, it will actually show you like a true baseball card. If she had played in multiple seasons, it would show you. So it would show you multiple rows here for each season and what her stats were for each season. So this is the kind of app you can use, um, you know, theoretically for years as your kid is going through school or going through little league um, to track their stats over the course of their little league career, say, or their high school or even college career. So kind of kind of cool that way. So let's go back now. We'll take a look at uh, team stats. <clears throat> and for the league we just created, there's not much there yet, but you'll see it shows uh, the, 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 the season's uh, standings here. And it's sorted by winning percentage. And... Let's say you realize that, oh, the uh, the score's not right. Really, the Reds had three right there. So we could actually correct the game after the fact here by just clicking on that row, and we can change the score, give the Reds three, and hit Save Changes. Um, let's say by, by chance you created a game, saved the stats for it, um, saved the game, and realize, oh, wait, that game was just a scrimmage, so I want to remove it from the standings here. So you could do that by clicking here and just doing delete game.
but I don't want to do that at this point. Um, let's say a game happened that you missed and you wanted to put that game in. You could just fudge it by creating a game and putting the score in, just maybe any one, uh, put the whole score in, save the game, save the results. It'll put it here in the stats, but the date of the game will show the, the date that you just created this game on. But really the game happened two days ago. So if that were to happen, you could always go in here and change the date to what the date of the game truly was if it was a game that you missed. Save changes and it will correct the date there. Um, so a lot of kind of cool features here with these uh, team stats. So uh, that's the stats options. Um, sometimes I take screenshots, not only of the, the baseball card view, but even if I'm keeping a game, I've got that stats entry view. I might take um, at the end of the game. I might take a, a screenshot of my kids' um, stats from that from that screen. Uh, just be sure to do that before you end the game and save the game and close the game. Because once you do that, you can't get back to that stats entry page for that particular game. Um, it will be recorded in the stats here, obviously. But uh, last thing I guess is this. Uh, sounds option and what's helpful about that is if you're out at a loud game and you're pushing you're tapping your screen you might not be sure if it actually took your tap or not so you can um, right now you'll notice it happens as I change things I can change the volume I can change the pitch I can change even the sound to many different sound options here for whatever kind of beeping sound I like. So, or if you hate the beeps altogether and you don't want to hear anything, then you can always, um, as you change this, you can hit play sound to test it out. Uh, or you can hit this and now everything I do will be silent, no beeps. So whatever you prefer. I like the beeps because it's loud and you're outdoors, it's hard to hear uh, what's going on. So it just helps me keep track of it, what I'm doing on the, uh, the app here is actually taking. <clears throat> so that's the simple scorekeeper app. Um, kind of fun to use and you can use it to keep as many stats as you want or as few stats as you want. You can track your own player, your own kid, your own, your own favorite player, or you can try to uh, keep track of more of the players. Um, you can do like I do and keep track of the opponent team's pitcher or at least a dummy version of that picture where maybe if they change pictures I don't care I'll just keep assigning it all to the same picture so that can be uh, can be useful I like the fact that the app is uh, designed to be very high contrast um, a lot of white letters on dark gray or black uh, to make things easy to see if when you're outside on a bright sunny day uh, it's hard to see your phone to keep score so the high contrast is very helpful um, something else to think about as you're using this on your phone, having the screen as bright as possible will, um, you know, drain your battery a little faster. And, um, so what I found myself doing is I would set the brightness full bright. I would, and between every time I would enter a stat, I would hit the off button on my phone to like, uh, to, to put it to sleep. And um, then the trouble was, well, then every time I had to hit the on button to put a new stat in, I had to like do my password. So that was a pain. So I would actually get to the point where I would kind of turn my password off temporarily while I was using this app just to make it easy to turn the thing off and on quickly. Um, maybe that's not the most secure thing. Definitely don't want to lose your phone with the uh, security turned off, but that's what I found myself doing. Um, so it made it pretty, uh, pretty usable. Um, for what it is so uh, so that's a simple scorekeeper app um, there's a, I think there's also going to be a demo version of this on the Play Store that you could use for free uh, to test out that has I think some limited function functionality maybe you can't do as many games or something um, but um, I think that's going to be um, released also and um, so anyway I hope uh, you know give it a try if you want to I found it to be a lot of fun and it was fun to keep track of the score and uh, kept track of her whole season of um, from her, uh, her high school uh, softball season this past season. Kept track of all her stats, pitching and batting. Kept track of some of, the, some of the other kids a little bit just for the heck of it to test it out. 
and uh, it turned to be a lot of fun. It's, I just had to be sure to uh, not be late to the games, so I didn't miss anything. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this little overview. Thanks a bunch.